Denim heads, welcome back to the first vlog of 2018. And guys, today is the day. Today is the day that all that build up, all that lecturing, the humming, the hawing, it gets put into practice. I put down my hard earned money on the table and reveal my brand new project jeans. But first, well, I have a confession to make but I think it's better if I let him tell you. The initial plan was that I was going to get this. My brand new jeans. And I was going to do this whole elaborate unboxing thing and I was going to tell you about the initial steps that you should go through when you get your new jeans, how to cuff them, how to do your first soak, the importance of that, the whole nine yards. And now I'm just going to do none of that. Thing is, in about four, five hours, I fly off to Scotland for the weekend. I'm going with uh, four really, really good friends of mine. And we're going to do a big tour of the Highlands. We're going to visit my parents. It's going to be amazing. And I honestly can't think of a better way to start off a journey in a brand new pair of jeans than a trip like that. It's really just going to cement in that narrative. And that's what this is all about. This is the reason... Oh, this is what helps you keep these jeans and keep this garment for so long is that your actual lifestyle informs how the jeans evolve and how they fade and um, how they just like grow into being part of your life. Um, that's what captures so many denim heads' imagination. It's certainly one thing that keeps me coming back time and time again. And so, yeah, this is the perfect way to start off this journey. It really is. And guys, this is... I mean, denim is just such tough stuff. There's a reason it's the most popular fabric in the world. They're going to be fine. This, as, as, a, as important as the initial first soak is, and it really is important, it's going to be okay if I wait a few days and just do it next week. So, yeah. You probably got a glimpse about which jeans I made the decision for. And, um, yeah, let's get stuck into them, shall we? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. And out with old. In with the new. There's really nothing like trying on the perfect pair of jeans and just for the first time I, I'm really only kidding I, I love these jeans, they're not going anywhere um, they're going to get repaired another video and then they're just going to go into my rotations where they get worn every so often yeah can't let go of these things. So, you see, the thing is, this whole vlogging thing, it took me a little longer than I thought. In fact, for the one or two of you out there who've been following from the start, it took about a year longer. And that trip to Scotland, it was way back in September. So, Wes, what do you think of my new jeans? Awesome. horse went before the cart on this one guys. 
But anyway, the jeans, I went for the Benzite Denim Developers BDD006 Special Number 1. But why this pair of jeans are there literally hundreds, if not thousands of pairs you could have chosen from. Okay, thousands might be a little bit much, but maybe, I don't know. Anyway, why the Benzax? Reason number one, and this is essential, the fit. They just fit me perfectly. All the information I gave you on how to find your fit is distilled into this pair of jeans. They're exactly what I was looking for and exactly what I need. And that brings me to reason number two, denim. Again, all that preaching I did about denim weight, it brings me to these jeans. They've got a slimmish fit, they're a medium rise, my lifestyle, uh, where I am in the world, and of course, my personal preference, it all brings me to a 49's denim. And there's another little twist woven into the story here. Would you stop it with the puns, you're sounding just like dad. This is the first propriety denim that Benzac has ever created. Proprietary denim? Proprietary denim just means that it's a denim that's created by a specific brand for that brand alone. When a new denim brand starts out, more often than not, they'll go to one of the bigger names in the milling industry to find their denim fabric. Uh, maybe Collect or Kuroki over in Japan, um, Candiani in Europe, uh, you see a lot of white oak as well until the, the money men in the US shut it down. It's really, it's, it's a sad times with that. But those are a few of the names you're going to recognize and that are commonly associated with uh, the finest quality in salvage denim. Uh, so the new denim brand is going to pick out a denim from the mill selection of standard denims. That is fabrics which are milled and held on stock. These are fine denims and come in a plethora of weights, weaves, hues and hand. The only issue with this is that any brand can have these denims. So as a brand grows, as it matures, it's, it's a right of passage to create its very own denim fabric. This is proprietary denim. There is an interview with Leonard of Benzac over in Rope Dye about just this process. I'll, I'll stick a link to that down below. Anyway, that was a long-winded way to say that it's a brand new denim and these jeans are part of the first run using this denim. And that's the kind of thing I just love. It's like the undiscovered country of denim fading. So reason number three. Along with this brand new denim, these jeans have all of these geeky little things that us denim heads just, we freak out over. Now, I'm not going to get too heavy into specifics, simply because Len is over next week and we're going to sit down together and he's going to just take us through all of these details. But man, there's nothing in these jeans that leaves me wanting. Actually, maybe one little thing, but th that's just me being fussy. And anyway, this brings me to reason number four. This is where I genuinely hope I don't ruffle any feathers or offend anyone. Because it could be seen as favouritism, but hear me out guys. Leonard, the founder of Benzac and I, are, we're close personal friends. We've been mates since, since I was just getting to raw denim and Benzac the brand was made up of just a, a couple, no, a handful of jean styles. This is where it could be seen as a little, I don't know, wishy-washy, um, maybe a little bit sentimental. But guys, this is the heart of raw denim. A pair of raw denim jeans is a garment with meaning. What starts off as a pair of jeans just like hundreds if not thousands of others becomes yours and yours alone. You remember like putting your hard earning money down for them, you remember where you bought them, you remember with who and you remember why. You remember the story behind each stain. You don't remember how you got that girl's number on the inside of your jeans though, do you? Shh. You watch these things fade, you watch the revolution, they come along with you in each and every adventure. As I said when I was unboxing the jeans, that trip to Scotland was the perfect way to kickstart this project. It's the same with the fact that both these jeans and the denim were made and designed by a good friend of mine. It just it adds a, a whole other dimension to, to this journey. So to all the other jeans brands out there, guys, don't be pissed at me. I love your jeans. I love what you do. You know that. And it really, really was a tough choice. But this particular pair just, it takes so, so many boxes. It just kind of like, it had to be. So anyway, I should probably take this time to say that this was in no way a sponsored post. Leonard did not give me any money for this. Uh, I put down my hard earned cash for these jeans and anything I say and do in regards to them is just my personal opinion. With that said, I've been alluding to the first essential steps when you get your new jeans and to be honest, this might get me actually into more trouble than anything else with the diehard denim guys out there. But that is for next time because I've harped on at you long enough now. As always, you're subscribing to this channel, it really helps us out. So if you could hit the button, give us a like if you liked it, 
Give us a thumbs down if you don't. It's up to you. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to watch our videos regardless. And I should be mentioning this more. You guys do know we're a website as well, right? Head over to ropedye.com, that's R-O-P-E-D-Y-E, for many and much more info on raw denim and other amazing gear. I'll put a link to that down below. And last, but of course not least, gentlemen and ladies, I wish you a great start to 2018. It's been an amazing year, and let's, let's just see where this adventure takes us.